forgot my hat and my sunglasses. Forgot Rough them. weekend. You lost them. Well, I'm pretty sure I know where they are, but I just don't have them on me. Says <laughs> Jack. Found it. Wait. Literally says thirst aid. Uh, no thanks. Good to go. Well, I didn't see any tigers, and things in there weren't that giant, but I have a new look. What do you think? Mm, you stick out. <laughs> I don't look more Canadian. I can tell you, I'm ready to go for a ripper. live from Canada. Yes, we are. Here to visit the Phallic Bridge and the Phallic Museum. <laughs> yeah, the Phallic Museum of Human Rights. Ironic. The other day in Sioux Falls, we were stranded and we found this little rock. So we're gonna spread the cheer by leaving it here for someone else to find at the Human Rights Museum in Winnipeg. We'll wait till people aren't around so they don't see us leaving it. Oh, okay, I'll put it over here then. Hopefully that brightens someone's day. So we're going to the top first. To the top! To the top! Something also, the they made us check all our cameras, so all I have is this shaky. <laughs> <laughs> should be interesting. Yeah, should be. I can't believe they take away my cameras. Don't they know my rights? It's the Human Rights Museum. It's a bad joke. It's a bad joke.
looks more like a penis. I'm still not convinced that it's completely a penis, but can I say that on YouTube? Yeah, you just can't say dick or cock. Really? No, you can say all those things too. Oh, okay. Well, it's phallic looking from this angle, more so than it's too pointy the other way. Another great day in Canada with a phallic looking bridge. <laughs> Very nice Canada. I like it. I hey, like you guys style. said, you guys said, we said, hey, what should we go see? And people were like, oh, <laughs> go see the dick bridge. <laughs> so we did. You guys are so fucked. Um, I mean, I still don't see. I mean, it's she a doesn't stretch. See it. I see it, but it's a stretch. Like, I would have pegged it some something else but anyway like a needle like a, yeah like a but sure. pointy bridge you want to call it the dick bridge it's the dick bridge <laughs> for penis okay penis bridge <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it and gets was, all white in winter wow does it get smaller <laughs> in the winter the bridge uh, yeah, so. sure i guess we'll have to come back and see human rights big deal great museum Holy Huge. cow, massive. Probably to spend two days in there. No, like five. Like five days in there. Yeah. Like the rest of summer. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> it's fine. Because summer's almost over here. It's, like, it's going to get cold. In Canada, not in Florida. Right. Florida so... still feels like the sun. <laughs> so yeah, Human Rights was cool. They had eight different floors. Oh, you can see it. Wait, hold on. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Point. We went all the way to the tippy top. We sure did. That was fun. There. <laughs> That's pretty good. And um, that one actually looks more phallic, I think, than this one. Yeah, I agree, actually. Well, from this side, it just looks like a rocket. <laughs> Red rocket. <laughs> um. <laughs> so yeah, human rights was cool. We had to kind of zip through it because, you know, we only paid for so much parking, and so we didn't want to get poor our, planning. Our poor planning on my hood. part. Also, Whoops. it was closing and half an hour of when we finished anyways. So pretty awesome. Um, a lot of crazy, depressing shit in there. Yeah, it's not the most uplifting experience, but it's very powerful. Yeah, and go Canada for all their activism and stuff. That's really cool. Oh, Canada. Yeah, well done. I like it. Subscribe and tell us about your adventures on the Dick Bridge below. <laughs> Have you been here? Do you Get on the come dick here? bridge. <laughs> Get it? You want to come Ev here? Everybody does. Uh, in the summer. At the Forks. Yeah. Hey! This is not a canoe! Paddle straight up and down, reach as far as you can, and pull back. Paddles up. Take it away. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let it ride. Yeah, um, you mostly only see it from the other side, and there it's super pointy and it doesn't look. This is more like a rocket ship dildo type <laughs> bridge. Rocket fuel dildo? Yeah, the other edge just looks weird. That seems excessive. Rocket fuel dildos. Well, I mean, it'll get the job done very fast. <laughs> wow. Okay, tell me fast because we have to go to the car. Hanging out at the Forks. 
and uh, just taking some video, We're gonna set the drone up. His phone's dead. My phone doesn't have the app because I got a new phone. Anyway, this is the life that we live because, you know, most likely- Standard business. Yeah, it doesn't work out always. So we just sit down by the water and they start doing these dragon boat, what is it? I don't know. They're practicing race. for a dragon, a dragon boat, boat race. race. And then a girl sits down, Denise, she's very lovely and gave us all the history of Winnipeg that we could want and then some. And we're like, holy cow, we need to explore some more. But we got chatting and um, so we stood up and realized, well, we put timer on the meter and it's about to expire. So gotta Could go. Could be an expensive day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you next time.